That's it. All right. Well, let's delve into this thing. Um, Omar, you can you can lead us out of the gate here, but on the marquee for this week, we have the former light heavyweight champion, Lon Blah- Blah- let's try that again, Jan Blahovich, bouncing back, getting a win uh, by third round TKO via injury over Alexander Rakic. What was your takeaway from this one? So Jan looked good. Um, I thought, it, you know, up until the moment where Rajik's knee basically just exploded, uh, Jan looked good. It, it was definitely a competitive fight. Um, I thought Jan had better moments, more control overall. And his striking looks, it looked on point. Um, I think that was probably some of the most trouble we've seen Rajik in, in, in quite a bit. You know, his performances over the last couple fights have been a little bit slower, but Jan didn't allow that to be the case. Definitely pushed the pace in that fight. Um, but the ending of that fight was brutal, man. I, I mean, I don't need yeah. they yeah. slow mo replayed that knee blowing out so many times, four or five <laughs> times, man. <Yeah. laughs> I agree. I didn't need all that. <laughs> it was it was brutal. Um, but his knee uh, definitely popped out and then popped right back in. I can only imagine what that pain must have felt like. Um, sucks the way that that fight ended. Um, but up until that point, I had Jan winning, so I didn't really feel terrible that Jan had won. I just kind of felt that it was terrible the way he had won, I guess. Yeah, I agree. I, I did have it 1-1 through 2, but I kind of felt like, despite that, that I, I thought Jan was in the driver's seat. So I, I kind of agree. I, I It felt to me like he was on his way to winning that fight. Um, it was just really good to see... Jan back and looking like himself like he was so flat against Glover and it's just encouraging to see that he's bounced back from that and and he looks like he's he's back in his championship form um Rockage looked good too it it definitely looked like it was gonna at least be a competitive fight it's I mean of course it still could have gone either way um like I said I had it 1-1 I thought Jan clearly took round one he was burying leg kicks that's where he did most of the damage to the to the left leg he was winning the boxing exchanges almost entirely um yes he got cut early but it was like by the edge of the glove on a jab that wasn't even really impactful so that was like a little more of a free cut thing than than something that was so much damage and also he was checking a lot of kicks in round one that Rockich was throwing with that right leg which is the the leg that ended up getting hurt um round two I did give to Rakic um, on the back of the takedown. It was nothing dominant that he did down, down there, but he did good work. And then the knee pops pretty early in round three, and we're kind of robbed of, of the rest of it. So obviously it was an awful break for Alexander Rakic. He did mention that he he may have heard it previously in camp. But at the same time, like I, I'm curious of, of your take on this, considering you, you train, which I do not. Am I bugging to kind of wonder if Jan deserves some credit like that left calf was swollen up so bad from all the leg kicks that Jan was burying that Rakic was probably putting so much weight on that right leg in all his movements and like so much more pressure than he's usually placing on that leg and then it pops plus Jan was checking kicks that he was throwing with that leg all night so part of me feels like there's a way to give Jan some credit here as well obviously it's kind of a freak thing but I don't hate giving Jan some credit for it no, I mean, there was definitely damage done to the leg leading up until that point. It wasn't like it was, you know, like out of nowhere, I guess, in that sense. The other thing that you brought up is, was he overcompensating on one leg for the other? And and so uh, taking something from the, the MMA sphere that we were going to get into, since we're talking about it, I'll just pull it out now. Um, he had a torn, so he ended up with a torn ACL in his right leg. Turns out he's had a couple of torn ACLs in his left knee prior mm-hmm. to that right knee getting torn apart. Um, wow. so it wow. sounds like he's had knee injuries in the past. So it's very possible that his right leg has been overcompensating for his left leg up until this point. And Especially when the left calf starts to swell up like a balloon. Yeah. And he's got to compensate even more. So it probably didn't help that both. It sounds like both of his knees at this point are jacked up. So he's going to need surgery for the right leg, uh, at this point, but it's, you know, it, it just sounds like it was kind of working against him at that point. It was just a matter of time before it went, whether it was in a fight or in training, um, I don't, I've never had an injury to that extent. I've, I've seen guys in the gym with some injuries here and there, but I don't think I've ever seen somebody with a massive injury where they've had to, you know, kind of be off of their, off of their feet or anything like that, or should right. be off of their feet. Yeah. 
Either way, I feel like that felt like one that we might see again down the line. I mean, who knows how long Jan is around? He's certainly up there, but like Rakic is is not going anywhere, assuming he heals fine from this. He's young in the game still. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And pro- we probably won't see Rakic back until probably the end of the year. Uh, <clears throat> but he's not really going to go anywhere, so I think it'll happen. Yeah, I, th- I think more than that, probably more than end of year. We're already in June. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. almost June. We're in May, actually. Yeah, yeah you're right. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it, obviously we hope Rockets recovers, comes back the same guy, but I'm happy to see Jan back in there looking like a championship caliber fighter. So with that said, what are you thinking could be next for Jan? Uh, so for Jan, I mean, it's, it's hard not to want to give him another title shot, right? Like Glover was talking about uh, going out there, defending his title, and then, you know, whoever, whoever's the winner of that fight, though, just should be getting Jan for the title shot. Um, I'm very much okay with that at this point. I think Jan's, you know, Jan's earned it. Jan did work when he was at the light heavyweight division. He had his moment with Glover. Um, you know, he talked about not feeling normal for that fight, feeling flat. Uh, why is he tired after half of a round? You know, all these different things that sounded like they went wrong. Um, but he picked himself right back up. He went right back to the drawing board, came back, still looks good. Hard to deny him a title shot right now with the way the, the, the light heavyweight division looks. So I'm down for that. Yeah, I have no problem with it either. Um, I definitely think there is a world where he gets an immediate title shot, especially if the Magomed Ankalaev and Anthony Smith fight ends up being, you know, maybe a bit more toward the boring side. There's no standout winner. I almost guarantee it would be Jan who who gets a, an immediate shot again at that point. It is possible that the winner of that Ankalaev-Smith fight does it in like a really impressive way and looks great and people kind of start buzzing about them getting it instead, in which case... I could actually see Jan end up fighting that winner, but either way, he's either getting it or he's going to be like one step away here. So, yeah, that that was a big one for him. And Rakic obviously is going to be out for a while here, so there's no real point in matching him up. But I'm sure whenever he is back, he'll be returning to a top 10 opponent. So yeah. we will see. <clears throat> All right. Anything else you want to say on that one? That injury that Glover had in his eye, man, that looked like one of the most painful things. That Jan had, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did I say? Glover. Oh, no. Not Glover, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah no, that looked like it sucked. That dude had a cut, like, right, right on the inside of his eye. Yeah. It looked like it was the edge of the glove. Did you see? Like, it was like a yeah. jab that slid through, and it looked like it was just, like, the side of the glove that, like, sliced it. That that yep. was a that was a unique one. You don't really see that too often. It's almost like a like a paper cut of the highest yeah. order. Like, big version, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 